Hi! Привет! I'm Julia and today I want to show you a piece of my student life in Russia. I study at Moscow State University and now we have an examination session. Sesia in Russian. It's the time when we take exams. I decided to take you with me to one exam and show you how everything works here. But before that, I need to say something. Moscow State University, MSU or MGU in Russian, consists of several buildings. There are several faculties in each building. I study at the Faculty of History. It is located in Shuvalov buildings. The road to the university takes me an hour and 20 minutes. I go by metro and uh, then by bus from the metro university to my university to Shvalov building. As soon as you become a student of any university, you are given a student ID card. We students call it just studenčeski or studak. Student ID is needed to get you into the building. If you forget it, the entrance to MSU is prohibited. We are strict with this, yes. Actually, security is very strict. And if you forgot it, you'll have to go home. In my case, it's not a close road. Next, the wardrobe. In Russian, it sounds like garderob. We have two of them, but I always go to this one because I like it better. There are always a lot of mirrors here to make sure you look good. This is necessary. Only after that you can go to classes. It's not necessary, I'm just kidding. <laughs> today I'm taking an exam of history of 20th century. Hi, today I'm taking my last exam in this examination session. Uh, it's about Russian history of 20th century. It's about USSR, Lenin, Stalin. Uh, revolutions, wars, etc. It's uh, kind of difficult, but I think I can do it. So, yeah, uh, an exam, the exam starts in an hour, so I came, I especially came early to make videos for you, so you can imagine how our Shvalov building looks inside. Shvalov building is very large. There are four faculties studying in it, and each faculty has its own floor. My historical faculty has first, second, fourth and fifth floors. The faculty of philosophy has a third floor, and the faculty of public administration has six, seventh and eighth floors. Fourth floor, the floor of university departments or university chairs. In Russian, cathedra. Now I will try to tell you what a department is. So, from the third year, we have to choose the direction of history in which we want to further specialize. So, if you want to be an expert in Middle Ages, you go to the Department of Middle Ages. If you want to know better church history, you go to the department of church history. We have 12 departments in our faculty. By the way, the faculty of history of Moscow State University is the largest history faculty in our country. As I already said, I am in my third year now, so I'm studying at department of Russian history in the 19th century and I specialize in cultural history in 19th century in Russia. So about fourth floor, we don't have classes here. Uh, there are just offices or cabinets of department's chair. There are several canteens and cafeteria in our building. In Russian it sounds like stalovaya or buffet. My favorite canteen is on the ground floor. It is very bright, spacious and it's very tasty here. I'm going to take an exam now, so wish me luck. Как твои ощущения перед экзаменом? Очень стрессово, потому что кажется, что экзамен по ИСА и новой новейшей истории прошел лучше. Как будто бы знаний в голове было больше. Нервничаешь? Сейчас да, так немножко. Хотелось бы, конечно, повторить. Сколько дней ты готовилась к экзамену? 
Дня три, четыре, где-то так. Это не гарант качества. Что будешь делать на каникулах? На каникулах буду много спать, отдыхать. Встречусь с друзьями. Вау. Вау, такие необычные планы. Беров, Пока не знаю, чем займусь. Сейчас Хорошо. в планах пережить этот день. Согласна. Пережить этот час, я бы даже сказала. Ну ничего. Ну хорошо, спасибо за интервью. Да, спасибо вам, было очень приятно. Очень приятно. Окей, so we passed the exam. You can congratulate us. This was the last exam in this examination session. And now the holiday starts for two weeks. Yes, and after that the new academic session will begin. And But uh, it's too early to think about it. Yes, now the main part is to have a good rest. Yes. Bye. I passed the exam, you can congratulate me. Uh, so it was the final exam of this examination session. Now the holiday starts. They are two weeks long and after them the new semester will begin. I want to try to explain exam system to you. So academic year uh, starts in September. Academic year consists of two semesters. The first one is from September to December and the second one is from February to May. At the end of each semester we take exams, as I am today. It can be three, four or even six exams in each examination session. But to get the access to the exams a month before exams in December or in May, we need to take mini exams like tests, control papers, reports and so on. It's called зачет or for plural form зачеты. Зачеты are put down in special books. We call it зачетки. On the right side you have your зачеты and on the left side you have grades for exams. Оценки. And every year we have two large written works. They are called coursework, курсовая, and a report, доклад. These are, we can say, our scientific works devoted to a particular problem or historical topic. The difference between them is that coursework is bigger than a report and the grades for coursework go into Зачетка. So, today we have learned a lot of Russian words. Let's repeat some of them. Examine, exams. The time when you don't sleep much, study a lot and get nervous a lot. Sessia, examination session. The time when exams take part. At Moscow State University it's January and June. Зачет. The test uh, is what you need to pass in order to gain access to the exam. Оценка. Great. It's what you get from exam. Одногруппники or однокурсники. Mates, classmates, friends, just guys with whom you are studying at the university. Stalova, Canteen. The dining room place where we have lunch. Pedagog. The teacher at the university. Каникулы. Holidays. Two weeks of well-deserved rest after exams. Thank you for being with me today. Like, subscribe and write in the comments if you learned something new today. And see you soon. Пока!